Okay, this works in both session view and arrangement view, by the way. I'm just using session view right now to give a little, have a little bit of fun with session view. Um, however, I'll switch over to arrangement view in a minute. But it, this warping works completely the same, both in session view and arrangement view. Okay, so we have our clip tempo here, this BPM. Okay, we can divide it in half to half time it or X2 to double time it. Okay, so in a clip like, let's go to the guitar one. Okay, if I hit X2, it's gonna sound like it's going half time. And you can hear how it starts to get a little glitchy when you do that, right? The reason is the farther away this tempo is from your session tempo up here, the more kind of glitchy it's gonna get. The more it has to stretch it out, the more artifacts that are gonna get introduced. Artifacts are basically when your computer is like guessing because there's not enough information. So when we really stretch it out, we start to get artifacts like that. Okay, so let's go back down to half. And go half again. And similarly, we start to get something that sounds unnatural, some of those artifacts. That has to do with the same reason. 37.9 is quite far away from 95. So either direction, the farther away we get from our session tempo, the more unnatural it's going to sound. Now, if you want to change the tempo of something here, what you want to do is not change it here. Okay, this is not a good place to change the tempo because it's going to mess up all your uh, warping. You want to change it up here. If you want to say, I just want this track to go faster, you just change it here. And then the beauty of live is that it knows how to do the math. So if I say 103 BPM, it's going to play all my clips, my whole track at 103 BPM. Okay, and it's going to adjust everything for me. So if you're in a situation where you're saying, I don't want live to play it at the session tempo. I want live to just to play that audio file, how I brought it in. Um, it was perfect where it was. This happens to me like kind of a lot, right? So let's say this guitar thing was exactly where I wanted it. And I don't want this warping to happen um, for this clip, but I want warping to happen for these other clips. Okay. Then I'm going to leave these two alone. And this one, I'm going to turn warping off. If I turn warping off, that means ignore the what live thinks its BPM is and ignore my session tempo and just play that clip when I tell it to play that clip. That's all it does. So to recap, the farther away your clip tempo is from your session tempo, the more kind of distorted and glitchy it's going to be. However, I will talk about something called warp modes in just a video or two that'll help with that. And thing two that we learned in this video is if you don't want live to do that, if you don't want live to warp your clip, you just want that clip to play exactly how you have it, you can turn off warping here. 